We can't babysit no more. Right? We can't hold your hands. You're going to have to put yourself in that fire. You're going to have to put yourself in that quicksand. You're going to have to put yourself in that water. Let's see if you can swim. Let's see if you can paddle. Let's see if you can keep your head afloat. Why's up? It's your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your nephew, your friend, but it can't be your son, it's your kinfolk. Will Henry with God's will fitness. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn the notifications on for this post. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for lending me your ear. And I just came here to motivate. I just want to educate and inspire the people in regards to fitness, right? Because we all know that it's more mental than it really is physical. We all know that we need that jolt, we need that boost mentally, spiritually to really do the work physically, right? And so I want to get to the nitty gritty, I want to get to the foundation, I want to get to the blackboard right the drawing board i want to go to the basement and show y'all what it could look like with a penthouse view right and you want somebody to hold your hand you want somebody to tell you when to eat you want somebody to check in on every everything that you're doing and you're not even holding your own feet to the fire you're not even doing what you're asking them to ask of you you're not being consistent there will be no more babysitting no more holding hands. No, y'all got to be able to run into that street without getting hit. Y'all got to be able to run into that gym without failing. Y'all got to be able to get on that treadmill and not fall off. We can't hold hands all the time because we're adults. We're grown people. I can't babysit you. I can't watch over you every time you're doing a set. I can't watch over you every time you're in the kitchen. I can't watch over you every time you're outside the gym participating in an activity I have no idea of. I can't be your guardian angel. That's for God. That's for, that's for the people up above. All I can do is give you the directions. All I can do is give you the insight. All I can do is give you the motivation. All I can do is give you the program, give you the meal plans, but it's up to you to take advantage of that information. It's up to you to take advantage of your situation. It's up to you to be the victim or the suspect. It's up to you to turn your life around. Because when people get changes, when people get results, I don't take the credit, right? I don't take the credit. I give them the credit. I give them the props. I give them the kudos because the before and after, all I did was guide them. All I did was show them a path, but I didn't walk that path for them. I didn't drive that path for them. They had to take it upon themselves to carry those burdens. They had to take it upon themselves to hold on to their responsibility. But I can't babysit. We can't babysit you no more adventures in babysitting land we grow now fitness requires some type of maturity you can't be immature when it comes to being consistent with your diet you can't be immature when it comes to getting under a load of weight you can't be immature you can't play around because the results will not play with you these results or serious, the consequences are serious. We're talking about health, we're talking about wellness. But y'all trying to sit at the bar and drink the wells, right? We're talking about something that's gonna transform your life for longevity, not just right now, right? And everybody waiting on the right now and it's not gonna happen because it takes time. Everybody want to see a change. Everybody want to see it fall off the next day. You just got in the gym yesterday, bro. That's not realistic. But you want somebody to babysit you. You want somebody to hold your hand. When you really the one that's trying to control them. When you the one that's really trying to steer them unto your will. When you trying to make them uh, participate in your foolishness. We can't babysit no more. Right? We can't hold your hands. You're going to have to put yourself 
in that five gear. You're gonna have to put yourself in that quicksand. You're gonna have to put yourself in that water. Let's see if you can swim. Let's see if you can paddle. Let's see if you can keep your head afloat. Right, like, cause sometimes you gonna gasp for air. Sometimes you gonna be struggling underneath that bench press. Sometimes you gonna be tired when you get up in the morning. Sometimes you not gonna feel like it, but can't hold your hand. You gotta get up on your own two feet. I can't be your crutch. You gotta get up with your own will. I can't support your bad habits if you aren't willing to support yourself. Right? I can't want it more than you. And that's what happens most of the time. People get a trainer and the trainer want them to see the results more than they want it. Right? The trainer want them to see success more than they want it. And that's uneven. That's not a mutual relationship. So we put in this time, we're pouring into these people, but we're not getting the reciprocation. We're not getting the consistency. We're not getting the discipline. And then we are getting all the blame and we're getting the fingers pointed at us. Come on, bro. I'm just trying to help you, sis. I'm just trying to help you, but you're not doing what I tell you. You're not telling me the truth. You're not being honest. You keeping secrets. You holding things from me. Can you be real? Can you keep it 100? We need real talk, right? We gotta have some uncomfortable conversations. So we can't babysit, we try to babysit, right? We can't coddle, right? You know what I'm saying? We can't hold you in a swaddling blanket. We, we can't watch over you all the time. Sometimes your discipline is going to have to keep an eye on you. Sometimes your discipline, your sacrifice is going to have to keep track of your results. No more babysitting. No more holding hands. No more being the crutch. No more being the shoulder to lean on because you leaning on me, I'm falling down. And you still able to stand upright. It can't be like that. It has to be mutual. It has to be balanced. It has to be something that's beneficial for both parties, right? The babysitting has to stop. We're grown. You're an adult. You're not a kid anymore. You're not in mama's house anymore. You're not behind daddy's shadow anymore. You're your own self. You have your own responsibility. You're culpable, right? So. At the end of the day, you gotta stand up and be accounted for. At the end of the day, you gotta show up for yourself. You can't be absent and hope somebody uh, write your name on the uh, <laughs> attendance. You can't be absent and hope somebody show up for you. That's not how it work. You gotta be there too. You gotta be in the classroom, <laughs> right? You gotta be getting that education. You gotta be learning how to better yourself. Personally, right? You gotta be able to learn how to better yourself physically. You gotta how to learn how to better yourself in all aspects of life. Because that should be the goal. That should be the goal. Fitness is just one piece of the puzzle. But we gotta get all the pieces to come together. This is God's will. Fitness. Oh.